What's going on, boys and girls? Bob here. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters. I thought I was done with this game. I was ready to just leave this off my hard drive and move on to Guilty Gear Strive. But lo and behold, we got not only a balance patch, but a balance patch that completely overhauls everything in the fucking game. I mean, I'm, I guess I shouldn't be shocked, but I still am. So, mm, Strive will have to wait. I gotta do this game, and boy, is there a lot of things to go over. So, um... First of all, obviously, I'm not going to cover every single fucking change in the game. That would be silly. I am not nearly that much of a character expert. Uh, frankly, I still feel like a troglodyte compared to even, like, Rufamonger or, like, a lot of other really good players. Uh, but I am learning, so that's always good. And I'm also going to try to get to Super Saiyan God now. Anyway, moving on. So, uh, so, so if you don't know, I like to think I'm probably a decent Cell expert by now. Um, I may, I devoted a good amount of months to him, like... I still can't do, like, obviously the uh, re-jump combos, but honestly, like, outside of that, I think I'm doing pretty good with them. Uh, I'm mostly focusing on Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta right now, but still, really good character. So, um, I'm going to go, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over all of his changes, dissect, like, every single change, see what I can make sense of, if anything even does make sense, and rate the final score of, like, how much does it improve the character, like, a arbitrary score number, you know, one of those, like... X out of tens, too much sell or whatever. Anyway, so I guess let's just first go ahead and show the actual master list of things. Thank you, Reddit, for just archiving everything into a single fucking master post. By the way, if you want a link to this, here it is. It's a really handy Reddit post. I'm going to recommend it. So, a good amount of changes actually. I was not. I didn't think sell needed to be retooled. Like at this point in time, he's kind of more like in the A tiers. He's not like. If S tier is like Gotenks and Broly, he's probably like bottom of S minus, top of A plus. Like, Cell is still really good. I'm surprised that he got buffs, period. But here we are. Cell has buffs, and I guess I need to cover them to some capacity. By the way, the, everything you see going on right now, uh, Twitch layout. Please follow me on twitch.tv slash Roger Jericho. I'm going to be way more active over there, especially in the coming months. Anyway, Cell's changes. Um... They definitely address some problems with the character. They're not, like, grandiose. They don't overhaul the character. Like, oh my god, fucking Nappa, uh, Black, Zamasu, etc. It's not. He's not one of them, but he has gotten some fucking good love. I will definitely say that. Ignore as I'm looking off to the side to readjust this window. Go figure. Okay, so, uh, let's just take this from the top. Crouching medium attack, you know, 2M, obviously. We're using the standard, you know, no number notations for this. 2M, increased attack duration, uh, increased recovery. I might make sure audio is on. Audio is on, okay. And adjusted distance moved after the attack. So, in layman's terms, from what I'm able to, to uh, dissect from this, basically the attack lasts longer, hitbox is more active, increased recovery. I think that means it takes longer for him to be active afterwards, which is a, weird. I didn't think he had problems with that. All right. But the big thing is the hitbox. Um, Cell, if you watch my online sets, I've also noticed, noted this before in the guide. Be sure to check out the guide. It's really comprehensive for Cell if you want to learn anything about the character. Um, Cell's 2M, its hitbox didn't linger as long as you thought it would. Basically meaning that from one time you activate the window to when it stops, you th it should look like it's active like all the way through. But no, like right around here, like when it starts like really decelerating, that's when the attack hitbox goes away to the point that very frequently, Cell's toes will be clipped into the, the opponent, and there's no hitbox, so it's like, hmm, okay. But no, this adjustment really does actually add a tipper hitbox? It's not like a Marth melee kind of thing, but it does actually make the attack duration last a good amount longer. Look, look at this. Like, I can land from here, I can be back here, and like, I'm gonna try to get as deep into attack hitbox as I can. There, it just narrowly with, but that's fine. Here, no, nope, almost there. Ah, right there. Hang on. It was like this will land. Okay, yeah, there we go. But at this point in the original hit uh var variant, this would most likely whip, and that would suck. Because 2M is like you'll hear different people make arguments over like the flips being his best move, maybe command man after weird, but or jump light. It's a good move, honestly. Five uh four mm. But no, honestly, 2M is probably his best move. It's a really good approaching tool, best un uh, unscaled starter, obviously, in his whole toolkit. So this is good. This is really nice. Um, 
it's not Gogeta 2M, but hey, it, it does help. It will significantly increase his consistency, trust me. Uh, standing unique attack, sped up the attack startup, 10 frames. I don't remember what the speed was before. It might've been like 11 or 12. I don't see why he got this kind of buff, but all right, eh, a little bit faster. That's cool. I mean, the, the name of the game with this balance patch seems to be make everyone's normals bigger and faster. So I guess I can't complain too much. I mean, it's always been like a more of a niche kind of um, uh, stagger tool. So it's really cool. I won't say no to that. Jumping unique attack, now affected by dash momentum. I have zero fucking clue what this actually refers to. I was fucking around with this patch day one on, on Twitch, and I managed to, like, get Cell to, like, crawl forward while doing um, the move. I have, I have not been able to replicate it, though. Like, it, he, like, drifts a little bit if you time this perfectly. I have no idea how to replicate this, though, nor do I know why you would want this anyway. Maybe it's good for Cell loops in the corner. I don't know. I imagine Quanger's probably going to make some good tech uh, out of this. Maybe there's good, like, neutral application for it. I don't know. Fucking got me on that one. But hey, it's cool, I guess. Didn't need it. Jumping edge is kind of good as it is, except for not, not being um, beam cancelable. But hey, it's cool. Rolling crush, light and medium, but just knock back on mid air hit, adjust behavior on mid air hit. So. Oh, and also rolling crush medium, while, we, while we're talking about it, increased distance move during the mid air version. Let me address the distance part first. So, uh, rolling crush, or I just call it rolling hammer personally because Drac, what a kind of thing, three, sorry. So the life version does go, I think it goes noticeably shorter, or at least it, I'm pretty sure because I remember this version heavy being like the version you want to use out of the, out of the air. But no, now fucking medium, like, let me show you this. Or let me do it without four, four dashing. Like, goddamn, dude, I think I can do that at the top of super jump height. Yeah, it's, they really increased, like, the length of distance travels. So, I mean, uh, if I'm in corner, I'm getting the fuck out of dodge. So, that's kind of cool. Like, I, I'm I'm gone. So, it's kind of cool. Um, it's already kind of niche already because of the fact that this does beat Super Dash by itself. So, I'm not sure what the exact impetus up for this was. Like, if he... That's startup, obviously. Like, if I have Goku use this. That was weird. It's weird, it, like, curves downwards. Because, like, that goes that way. But, like, when it's clipping an opponent, like, stops early. That's kind of bizarre. Um, maybe I'll talk to time this differently. Yeah, like cuts it short. That's kind of. I actually didn't notice that. Hmm. Got me. It doesn't seem to make a, like midair conversions a, like more simple, I guess. But hey, it's kind of cool. Um, if it does make like uh, mid screen comments more consistent, then hey, I'm not gonna complain at all. It does allow you to do this with the altered angle for the light dive. That's kind of cool. Um, however, medium. Not sure why. What do you use this for? Like, you just go all the way over there. I'm certain there's probably like ways you can change this or something like that, but I don't know. It's whatever. I'm not gonna, it's whatever. Perfect attack, out of visibility to jumping attacks partway through the motion. This is big. This is actually probably the, I'm gonna say this might be the biggest buff that Cell actually gotten. And I'm saying that outside of what's, you know, further down below. This by itself is actually fucking insane because I'm surprised that it wasn't a thing earlier. So. Pay attention to the invincibility part of the screen when I do this. I'm immune to jump attacks in here now. If you remember, uh, if you're an avid cell player like I am, or I guess formerly, no, I'm still a big cell player. Uh, was this was had nothing special to it at all in the air before? Your best ways to deal with super dash before was jump light if you can time it carefully to go for a full conversion, or beam if you could also time it properly. Those are your only real good options uh, while you're in the air. I mean, jump light is really good. But that's hard as fuck to time online, dude. However, this for this change though, holy shit. This is I'm gonna say it, this might be the biggest change Cell has gotten. Like this by itself, it already takes his somewhat like slightly below average neutral, at least for top tiers in this game, and really ramps the fuck up. Uh 
whenever I get back to playing Cell, and it'll probably be soon because I'm just playing Gogeta way too much right now. This is uh -huh, this this will be a noob killer online if you can do this uh, reliably against Super Dash. Holy shit, this will be nice. It's also just a good. I actually didn't think about this before, but yeah, if you get snapped in and your opponent's trying to attack you, just pff, snipe it out of the air with this. Easy, easy peasy. Um, I can't say anything to the TOD factor of the air version, but hey, it's a cool defensive option. Cells always kind of wanted defensive options. And that's a hell of a transition to something for later, but not there yet. We got one more thing to go through first. Kamehameha. Or Kamehameha, I just go with the old English dub variation because I am dumb. So, Super Dash can now be performed on the second half of the grinded follow-up version. Bob, what the fuck does that mean? Well, if it's making Lem actually take the hit, oops. Basically, you can do this. Kind of cool. Um, let me just do this. No, that doesn't count. That sucks. So, uh, basically what this means is that you can cancel later frames of the command mana going upwards. The one that no one uses, because if you want to anti-air someone in this game, you use this, personally speaking. Or 2H, or literally anything else. You, you try not to 2H, because, oh god, a hitbox. Anyway. So, this is fairly neat, because of the fact that uh, you can now effectively use this as a combo extender. Not... There's probably reasons you want to use this, like preserve smashes somewhere uh, in your combo list. I've already seen Kowenger do some shit with this in the corner, uh, utilizing cell loops where he can actually get bigger damage, which is cool. Um, in terms of practical use, it, that's not like high level stuff. I mean, it will allow you to more easily snipe out super dashes from a distance. That's kind of cool. Let me show you this. You know, go for something like that. That's kind of neat. Um, at least I think so. So that's kind of sick. Um, it definitely raises his and his anti super dash and anti air game a little bit more. It's still a little bit slower, but if you don't want to go for, I don't know, if you don't want to go go for the TODs or you don't, you're not you're questionable on your two H hitbox. Trust me, we all are. This is pretty good. This is not too bad. It actually gives a reason why you want to use his upwards beam because there was a prior patch where it, like it lowered the recovery out of it, so that way there was some merit to using it, but it never did anything really. I mean, again, oof. But yeah, it's kind of sick. Um, maybe you'll find use for it. Who knows? Okay, this is probably this is the big fucker. Um. Right, so like I mentioned earlier, Cell's always had a wanting for more defensive options because, like, he does have, you know, the jump, invincible jump attack, a uh, perfect combination to avoid, like, anti airs, right? But he's never had, like, a true reversal outside of, you know, just straight up level 3. But these scamps at Arc System, I don't know why, decided to turn energy field into a reversal. Frame 1 reversal. I have tested this a lot. It's. Fucking sick, actually. <laughs> Let me actually show you this. Hang on. Yep, you saw that. Right as soon as I was doing it, um, the the beam actually went right through cell. So yeah, that's kind of good. Actually, this might be easy to illustrate with command mana straight up. Yeah, there it is. Just completely fucking intangible for it. Um, I guess it does make sense. This would be a reversal since, you know, while uh, Goku was pelting with Key Blasts, uh, Cell popped the perfect barrier in order to avoid that little onslaught. So, I guess that makes sense. I just never considered the idea that this, of all moves, would be able to do such. So, cool, I guess. So, other various things this move has had. Uh, let's see, various adjustments to treat moves as invincible. Obviously, frame one and vulnerable. Duh. Um, it's also minus like a million if you if the pump <laughs> blocks it. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, for example, just do this. Minus 35. You could do worse. You could do worse, but that is fairly unsafe. That's enough time for your opponents like dash up, not that one, and do like, oh god, I think I'm still playing Strive. Just run up and do a 5M. You know, just unskilled damage. You know, fun stuff. Now, something that I don't think a lot of people are catching. Um, adjusted knockback on hit. 
that's interesting considering that this never really it gave you like a 45 degree knockback roughly so it never really gave you much in terms of like oki but i want you to pay attention to the angle to sense the bat if he got hit by it very steep angle don't you think hmm isn't there a character in this game that benefits from knockback as such why yes indeed there is in fact, let me see if you can actually do this uh, mid-screen. I, mean, I haven't actually tested this yet. Oh look, it works mid-screen. Let's uh, let's push a number, shall we? Seventy-seven hundred. I mean, if you have cylinder sparking, you can you can crack that like it and then some. But uh, yeah, cell can now DHC into spirit bomb. I mean, I think you could already do it before if you like do a certain variation of like DHC off of it off of like EX perfect attack. I think, but I've never actually tested that before because I don't know how to do it. So, oops. But yeah, um, that's just. You know, it's funny because I see a lot of Cell players actually say that indeed base Goku is one of the better characters you can stick behind him because of the A assist. And you know, the ludicrous amount of block stun that gives you, as a reminder, 37, which is not bad for a move that hits both sides and is frame 28 now. I think it actually went up a little bit or it sped up a little bit. It's kind of sick. Yeah, it's kind of good. All right, now it's time for something that, well, I am kind of shocked it did actually happen let me actually reset my team first right so i guess it's kind of cool this happened although i'm not sure what weirdo asked for it i mean arc system is definitely trying to catch up like the unused uh tag or uh z assist along to match the others that's cool um i can't say no to that but still kind of bizarre so if you were to guide or if you've even looked glance at cell you might know that the b assist for cell the second part of his auto combo, the shoulder tackle press, shoulder tackle, that's redundant. It's always been a bit of a wet noodle, to put it absolutely nicely. Um, most application it had was just like off of a 6M conversion, right? Like it didn't really do much. Like it gave you just enough frames to utilize that or to use it as a very ghetto lariat assist. Because if you're absolutely against the A assist, I mean, you have an option, I guess, but they changed a little bit. Um, how much so? That much. Yeah, that, that, to that capacity. So, this is fucking insane because all of a sudden we turned this absolute wet noodle of, uh, Z assist into fucking faster version of Gogeta Super Dash Kick, which I mean, um, okay. That was already essentially a beam by itself, but hey, yeah, that's. It just feels like Ultra Street Fighter 4 now, doesn't it? Like, just, yeah, we got this weak looking move. Ah, oh, let's bump, let's beat the shit out of it. Let's give it, like, some, I don't know, some weird intangibility properties. Fuck it, why not? Okay. Hell, this is actually so good. I've already seen, um, my buddy Serby and, and my mentor, uh, he was running a team against me and was using this fucking assist because why not? Okay. Um, and needless to say, yeah, you, you can. You can like go take a shit, come back, and have time to confirm this. So that's pretty good. Uh, dope. I'm, I am a fan. I'd rather have improved the A assist and just leave the B assist aside, but eh, it's, it's fine. Anyway, the actual list increased damage moved. Oh, I misread that. Increased distance moved during the attack. So now it can hit round start. We couldn't even do that before, I'm like 90% sure. So yeah, uh, it still got some slight range restrictions, as you can see, uh, but it's better. It is definitely a lot better. Um, increase the moves attack level. I have no fucking move idea what that means. Thank you, Bamco translation team. I'm assuming that means a change of properties or made it more priority. I have no fucking clue. Increased hit stop. Hits done. Increased stun time. I guess I kind of. I think this block's done. And increased knockback on hit, and the move now causes a wall bounce. There you go. All you need to say is that hey, it causes a wall bounce now. 
is actually pretty good on block now too. 29 frames, that's one frame shy of being a normal uh, beam assist in this game, which is really good. Um, that This now eclipses Bardock's uh, Lariat assist, so there is that. Um, also 20 frames, lightning fast and gives you net value with your frame data, so pretty good. Um, to just toss out in the neutral, probably catch someone. From like I don't know the speed of this is essentially like it just gives your your point character like another large button so holy shit that's cool like I don't know who asked for this but hey it's kind of neat and just to quickly look at the C assist again this character has always just been the A assist so the fact that they buffed the B and the C I'm not gonna complain it's kind of fine so it's about the attack startup so now it is marginally substantial just a little bit I want to use this but it is now an actual neutral option so that's cool because this was like what 40 frames before yeah it's bad it's fucking garbage so this is nice um, adjust the hurt box before you attack I think this means that um, it disappears it becomes intangible a lot faster which goes really good uh, really hand in hand with the fact that you can now actually use this as like a, a neutral tool I don't, I joke that I think this thing actually does have anti-air properties, but I actually don't know. Because it's always been so slow, you would never figure it out, but hey, this is kind of nice, so cool. I wish the second attack actually came out on block, it actually gave yourself some decent plus frames, but hey, whatever. Uh, increased distance moved on hit during a final attack. This is a funny thing, actually. So if the if hit here would actually take the cell's perfect attack, like, look at cell, he actually slides past hit here. Look at that. Like, it actually ends up behind him. You actually see it during the slide at the very end. I'm not sure why. That's fine, but I, I don't know what that does, actually. It's kind of bizarre. Yeah, whatever. And increased duration of the last attack on hit. Don't know what that means. I think it gives you more plus frames. Maybe. Like, 132 is... Or 131 plus frames is pretty good. Like, can't say no to that. I think the 100... 104 might be uh, without tech roll, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. So you can now actually just sit there and charge for a little bit. If, you, if you're so inclined, I guess. Yeah. I, I think if you're running a C assist, you're more using it to side people in neutral and also convert into big ass combo, so yeah, it's whatever. Um, probably good for Gogeta's finish side, but you know, details. Alright, but yeah, so he's gotten. A couple of really good improvements. One, um, some that are very substantial, uh, and some that are just kind of nice little quality of life changes. I'm certain it'll amount to something big in the long run. Uh, the big ones I feel like are definitely the crouching medium attack, you know, 2M. Having its hitbox extended so that way now the tip hit does connect is really good. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, the command man going upwards is really nice. That's like more like a middle kind of improvement. This is big. I feel like this is one of the biggest improvements. And the other big improvement is this being a reversal. Because it, Oops. Cell has had problems for a while now with defensive uh, aspects. You might remember during Season 2, he was kind of very shunted down the tier list because of the fact that he's a tall character, ate a lot of fuzzies. I don't know why people want fuzzies back. You guys are fucking weird. But now this actually does kind of mitigate the issue a little bit. Not substantially so, but eh, it's, it's kind of cool. This definitely will. Now, that being said, I think level one reversals aren't the best thing in the world. I think there's a little too much risk for too little reward, considering that, you know, a regular DP in this game, like, you can still. Like, you can get a lot of value off of it. Like, that's not a true reversal, but it basically is. Like, um. Like, this gives you some good shit. This is still anti air, so that's kind of cool. Um. Yeah, you know, honestly, um, look, super reversals I've never found to be too valuable because it's like you can sparking off off of other off of regular special reversals or um, vanish off of them in order to get combos. You do you you gamble a level one reversal like that's a super and it's like a one and done unless you DHC out. But even then, it's like to get a character out safely sure but i'm not sure how useful that actually would be but yeah in terms of actual improvements cell i would probably give like a five out of ten and right in the middle 
like this definitely does address some key issues he has but the problem is like the things that it the the notable improvements is like a fraction of like of what he actually received in terms of like good stuff like i'm certain this will come, turn out to be decent in the long run but this is gonna be much more immediate this is much more immediate fucking this is way more immediate so i don't know maybe you guys will find some more use out of this and i will i'm still using gogeta for the time being but hey going back to sell he's got some stuff to play with now so that's pretty good although I'm, i imagine he'll also fall down the tutorials a little bit also because of the fact that uh so many characters have massive buttons now so his 2m is gonna be reduced in value quite a bit so it's whatever